Hey, what's up, folks? How you doing? Matt and Tenali here. Today we're talking about uh, bunting techniques, so sacrifice bunts, bun for hits. I know, you know, the big thing now is, you know, never bunt, right? You see t-shirts all, all over the place, stop bunting and all this stuff. Um, listen, I'm not a huge fan of, of sacrifice bunting, but I still think a couple things. One, I still think the bunt for hit can be useful, especially if you have speed. You know, thinking back to my career, especially coming up, um, you know, in high school and in college, I laid down a lot of bunt for hits and uh, got a lot of base hits out of them. And so, I mean, if you're a guy that can really run um, and they're giving it to you, I say take it. That's still second and you get a double. Um, also, sacrifice bunting, right? Still done at all levels and so if you play for somebody that wants you to bunt you're going to have to bunt right you're not going to say no coach i'm not bunting right you're not going to take your shirt off and show them your your take off your jersey and show them your stop bunting shirt or never bunt shirt um because he wants you to bunt so you're, you're going to have to figure it out and lay the bunt down and so here's a couple of tips you know Juan pierre right here is talking about it and Juan Pierre, for you guys that don't remember him playing, was a really good player, played for a long time in the big leagues, you know, really fast, athletic guy, outfield that could really bunt. He could bunt for his really, really well, and it was a deadly weapon for him. And what he's talking about here, and the first time I ever heard of this was actually when I was in pro ball. I was playing for the Padres, and Dave Roberts was our um, was one of our coaches, who worked with the bunters, base runners, you know, now manager for the Dodgers, and he was the first guy that ever told me this was when you're working on bunting, you want to think about bunting the ball off the end of the bat. Okay. And in this video, Juan Pierre is talking about the same thing. So he talks about sliding this hand up the bat a little bit more and really focusing on getting the ball off the very end of the bat. So just like anything, just like with a regular swing, right? You hit the ball at the end of the bat versus the sweet spot, right? You hit the ball at the end of the bat, it doesn't go anywhere. You hit the ball at the sweet spot, thing takes off. Same thing with bunting. So you bunt the ball off the sweet spot, the ball is going to be bunted hard, right? You bunt the ball off the end of the bat, you're going to deaden it more. And when you're bunting, you want to deaden the ball, right? You got to stay away from the pitcher and the corner infielders. So if you're able to deaden the ball and put it right kind of out here in no man's land, you've got a much better chance to get the sack bunt down or if you're bunting for a base hit. And so what you really want to focus on, and when you get good at it, at first I, um, I didn't really realize it, how easy it is when you really get a hang of putting the bell off the end of the bat, a thing just deadens for you, right? And so here's Juan Pierre really talking about working on that in practice. And this is one of the big things we do when we did bunt work. You know, I'd really focus on getting the ball off the end of the bat and being able to deaden the ball right there, All right? So just think about catching the ball, not stabbing it, but really just catching the ball right off the end, So he's working both lines here. But just think about that. It's almost like you've got a glove on your bat at the end of your bat, and you're just trying to catch the thing right there. Be really accurate with it. And the better you get at it, the more you're going to be able to deaden the ball. And again, whether it's a bunt for hit or a sacrifice bunt, a softer bunt is almost always a better bunt. Right? So let me know if you've ever heard that before, if you've worked on it. Really, really helped me out as I got older and really learned about it. Um, so give it a shot. Let me know what you think. Subscribe to the channel if you're not done so already. Um, give the video a thumbs up. Share with all your friends. All that good stuff. Check out our Instagram, Antony Baseball, or Twitter feed, Madden 29 We're posting videos all the time for you guys. And that's all I got, guys. Thanks again. Hopefully this helps you guys out. And we'll talk to you later.